Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Raid. We are on the test server today. I'll showcase the Fusion Hero, the Fragment Collection Hero that we have available right now, Timid the Fool. You guys know already my thoughts on him if you watched my previous video. I found a reason why I should go for it to go and complete this Fragment Collection, go through all the all the uh, different events and tournaments that we got used to by Plarium. You got to complete everything. We'll, we can have a look at in the end, but honestly, it's 130 fragments, 20 of those you can get from finishing first. Unlikely you'll finish first on all of them, so it's most likely that you need to complete everything, including summoning. And then if you do summoning, maybe you can skip, um, you know, the second part of one of the summoning, either the tournament or the summoning event and do it. Everything else you will have to complete. You have to complete like uh, big events such as the uh, what's it called? The, the Dungeon Divers, which is 4,800 points. Um, which is quite insane, but it's, you know, about 1,200 points per day. It's still a lot. And what do you get? You get Timid the Fool, all right? Timid the Fool is all right in my thoughts. I'll explain in the end of the video why I am probably going to go for him. But it's not because of what you might think, okay? It's going to be funny, I swear. Um, I did play test this guy around. Let me just... Let me just tell you, the only selling point that this guy has is his A2. This is the only selling point where this can actually remove stone skin and not get you sheep. I'm calling it right now. I've tested it. It can remove stone skin. I didn't get sheep, right? His A3 can get you sheep, but it's fine. I mean, I guess if you remove stone skin, then you can have a sheep just laying around. But um, is that enough to call for, for one of the four champions being in your arena team just to have a champion that can... Reduce stone skin from a hit, by the way. This is going to be a hitting skill. So if it's something like a Duchess, you might still get a weak hit and just completely get wrecked. Okay, that's problem number one. Problem number two, let me just show you guys. Instead of just rambling on, let me just show you on how I built Timid the Fool. Um, he's forced. There we go. I built him with enough accuracy to test things out. 640. He's got an accuracy lead, all right? He's got an accuracy mastery right there. I even booked him out, although that doesn't matter. He requires a lower amount of books, which is positive. I mean, for this, you know, any any legendary that's added that needs eight books, it's, it's a plus. But usually when it's a good legendary, this one does not fall into that category. Your legendary books can be used elsewhere. I would highly recommend that, okay? Um, Let's try and, and find some positives out of this guy. I think this guy can be used eventually to solo Bomo. If it's something that is a problem for you, there might be a team possible. But as, as is with Plyum, they introduce a champion that can maybe do something in the Doom Tower for, let's say, Bomo, like some other epic champions can do, um, and, and solo even the final hard 90 boss. This guy might be able to do it because of his A1 can can heal by a ton, right? Each hit heals this champion by 10% of their max health. The heal gets boosted as well through this one, can also get boosted through your masteries. So there's, there's a good way for you to be healing up all the time and recovering the amount of damage that you are receiving from the enemies. Of course, he doesn't have a way to block the big bombs, but I mean... It's all about the testing, right? So I, I would have tested him. If Bobo was available on the test server, I would have tested him for you guys. Everything else that he has is very situational and very, very um, kind of kind of bad, honestly. Let me, just, let me just go into the arena and show you. He's got 60k health. That doesn't really matter. He's not there for the damage. Um, I don't think we have access to the multipliers yet. So it's totally okay by me to... Just test things out, right? Let's go into this arena team. I'm gonna be running this team. Let's let's even put for extra a little bit of accuracy. Let's put Yumiko in the lead. We're gonna have boost by Sifi. We're gonna have one damage layer, and we have um, the the role of the stone skin remover is gonna go on Timid. So here I'm guessing there might be a stone skin on Baron, might be a stone skin on Duchess, which is a good example for us to test. And this is. Another problem that I found with stone skin. Let me just show you. Let, uh, let's see if we can, let's see if we can actually have this happen. Um, all right, we didn't get it here. That's fine. We'll we'll be able to get that extra turn now. So if we remove buffs completely from the enemy team, we should be able to get an extra turn. 
Uh, so let's see. There we go. Extra turn. Then we can try and fear them. There it is. Beautiful. So we have lock them out plus, um, you know, true fear and everybody. That's that's pretty nice, I would say. But anyway, I didn't want to test this. Let's find let's find a stone skin team. That's what I want to see. Who is this guy? Viruja. There's one possible stone skin. One other possible stone skin. There's one sheep also possible. So um, let's have a look. There's the stone skin. Okay. Let's see if it happens for us now that I'm recording the video. So, so look at this. I put it on a 1x speed. And did you see that, guys? This is not a bug. This is not a resist. This is part of the way that stone skin works. It's a 50-50, guys. Can't believe it that it's even a 50-50 for decreasing the duration of a buff. Um... I, I just think it's, it's completely wrong to have this as part of stone skin. I know stone skin can be removed with a 50-50 chance. There's a 50-50 chance there. But I didn't know that the duration of the buff also falls within the um, removal of the buff. Okay. So it's very weird that they coded it so you don't get sheeped, which you don't get. Sometimes I'll be able to remove it and I won't get sheeped. Okay. Um, but... The problem is it still lies with the 50-50 that every other buff remover has as an issue. Okay? Because it's, again, 50-50 to remove it. So what's the point of having a champion where his only selling point is removing stone skin? But, again, it's 50-50. It's so here we removed it. But as you can see, I didn't get an extra turn because of the protected, um, protected buff there. So the protected perfect veil. This is another problem. The protection sets that you can get from Hydra, they basically stop um, this guy from getting an extra turn. The only way that he always gets an extra turn is the the accompanied hero is with him, okay? The hero that um, Weirja or whatever, the, the other banner lord that was added into, into this. The other banner lord. If you have the other one as well, Keja, okay, yeah, Keja, you'll be able to get um, an extra turn. So it's it's not this guy is not amazing at all. So why am I gonna fuse him? Well, let's hop on over to our comments that I had uh, the other day. I did a uh, a poll over on the YouTube channel. Pretty clear on what the community thinks. At least three and a half thousand votes by the time I'm recording the video. Look at this, fourteen percent. So maybe a little bit under six hundred people say oh i'm gonna go for this for this champion it's crazy when 600 people uh, people out of three and a half thousand so three thousand people just say nope not gonna go for your 2023 uh, halloween champion it just sucks honestly if i if i had a game and the community said uh, by 86 percent vote in whatever that that what i've designed sucks I would be rethinking my choices, honestly, if I was a designer. It, shouldn't that be the case always? Like, shit, I did a bad job. Maybe I need to think things tr through before I, I launch them. Maybe ask somebody that knows the game a little bit before I do something within the game. They never do. Uh, they, they do, and then they, they might come and correct. Anyway, let's have a look at the comments and laugh a little bit. Uh, unless the fusion is a game changer, I'm no longer taking part in future fusions. They take too much of your time to complete. Complete. Um, yeah, yes and no. The, the fusions are a pain in the butt. I do agree. Pain in the butt. No way around it. I definitely agree that they take too much time. There is no, um, there's no opportunity for you to miss out on one of the, the events or tournaments and still be able to complete it unless you go first, which is very bad as, as a design aspect. Um, if I compare it to Watcher of Realms that I'm playing right now, they do, you know, fusions and you require 75 fragments and they offer about 150. So you can actually make the fusion twice. It's the, it's pot, if you finish like tournaments and stuff first, you can make the fusion twice. It's that, it's that, um, easy all right but but it's also they, they do like epic good epics um in, in terms of fusions anyway let's keep on talking about raid i think Plyum has disrespected me enough with their greed and lack of player consideration 
I'll participate in fusions that don't require me to make great a second job. Okay, that's the same as before. Um, because it's a fragment summon, I'll do it. If anything, it's increasing my chance to fill up faction guardians for a good faction. Did, did you understand, guys, why I'm going to go for this uh, fusion probably? This is the reason. This guy actually changed my mind. Um, and the reason for that is my banner lords currently are sitting at a pretty bad uh, 4 out of 10. I think it's one of my worst factions. I don't count the Sylvan Watchers. So There's a few champions in there. But for banner lords, it's one of my worst factions and, and could possibly be one of my best factions if I had. Uh, you know, champions like Taras and Marishka, they would benefit a ton from having, you know, um, these these added bonuses here, the 10% defense, 10, 10, uh, extra 10 speed. So having dupes in the Battle Lords would be nice. That is one of the reasons that I'm probably going to go for it. I still haven't even touched any of the dungeons or anything. I'm, I'm still thinking of it. I I think I'm going to skip it just just for the principle of, of just being so negative negative about it. But guys, it... It is a fusion to be negative. If there was a, as a time to be negative AF on this game, it's, it's this one. So 95% skip just waiting to see some tests or numbers on him. His stats would need to be insane or his damage at least similar to like Arix to make me go for him. Could say no fast enough. Couldn't say no fast enough on this one. Yeah, I never get them leveled in time. I'm already out of storage space with champions. Um, let's see. Fusions are just drains of scarce resources. The champs are... That are worth going for end up getting nerfed like emic did um that's not true newt did not get nerfed and newt is a fantastic fusion 10 out of 10 so uh avoid lego who got nerfed because one percent uh, whatever uh the champ could have been so good if increased accuracy was his a2 into an extra turn a3 um yeah that would have been nice extra nice but i think the a2 would have been better if it was multiple hits right if his a2 was multiple hits guys i would say that Timid the Fool would be much better because this issue, if it was like a triple hitting attack with a third of the multiplier, so you do still the same damage, it doesn't get affected by um, weak hit so much, and you could still reduce stone skin, it would be, you know, uh, much better than it is right now. Finally, I am done with fusions. They're becoming a pay to win event. At the rate, Plyrum is going at it. They should just sell the chance in the shops already. Um, I could totally see this as, as even an argument. I remember, I think Chosen made a video in the past, uh, you know, months ago on a fusion. He said, I'm just going to stop at 90 fragments. And then the, the final turn, I'm just going to buy them. I'm not going to even bother with, with doing the final 10 fragment events. So that, that, that is kind of a sad thing to consider when, when people will just completely ignore parts of the game because just spending money makes more sense right honestly it doesn't make I, we all know that this game it's all about trying to make you spend money it's like a a hidden casino behind you know colorful champions and stuff trying to trying to get things going and, and beating dungeons and all that but um it's it's just everything is trying to they get trying to get you to spend right yeah, all the mechanics in there but whatever tim at the full uh we're gonna be a full if, if we actually go for this one i think um but uh, am I going to be a fool? I don't know. I still haven't decided yet. I, I'm like 90% um, going to go for this guy. But I'm, I'm currently busy with other stuff as well. So time is limited. So I might actually skip it because of no time. Uh, not because I don't want to have a possible uh, faction guardian. That, that was the only reason I was, was going to go for it. I, I, yeah, I mentioned it already. Anyway, guys, this was this was my review on Timid the Fool. Honestly, uh, very, very underwhelming as we originally thought. Even worse, actually. We we considered that the A2 would be nice, but um, yeah, I didn't expect the 50-50. And it was confirmed by Plyum earlier today also. And I, and I was like, I, I sent them like a meme response and they were like, oh, come on. But it's true. It, it, this guy's a meme. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.